going on guys, it's your boy Worthy Prince coming at ya with another Lords Mobile video. In today's video we're going to be going through the best infantry range gear set for you to go for if you're actually going to be attacking someone in an infantry range setup. Now as before, this gear set wouldn't be your first gear set that you make. Of course if you've just started off the game then the first thing you're going to want to do is build your mixed set. Um, so I've already got a video up on the channel for your pay to play uh, mixed gear set. Um, if you're free to play then this really won't apply to you to be honest because we're only going to go through pay to play gear. You know because if you're going to be going infantry range you can only really do it with the pay to play items and you know for a free to play player that's not really feasible. You're going to really want to go for that mixed set and again I've got a video up on the channel going through the best free to play gear set. Okay. But as before, if you've already done your mix set and you want to now branch out into more specific troop types, uh, then this video we're going to be going through infantry range. Now one thing I would like to just mention to you guys before we get into this, as you know, I like to mix things up a bit and maybe choose some gear you might not want to choose. Now in my previous video where we went through um, range cav, there was a couple of pieces of gear that people weren't really too sure on and they said you know there is other bits that are better yes there may be other bits that are better but what i want to go for on these sets is a good balance between the actual two troop types because let me ask you a question guys if you're using for example as in the previous video cavalry range do you want it set up so that you can only put the cavalry on your front line and have the range at the back because I personally wouldn't want that. If I'm gonna have a set that does cavalry and range or infantry and range, I'm gonna wanna be able to move them about depending on what I need to attack with, whether I want the range on the front line or if I want the cav on the front line or the infantry. And it's important in my belief to have a good balance between the true two types on the HP and on the attack so I can switch it if I need to. You know, because if I have a really high attack stat, for example, a lot of people were saying, use the codex for the offhand on the other on the other video, the uh, cav range set. The only problem with that is, is it really boosted the range and left the cav short, so it wasn't really ideal. You know, there are reasons behind why I've chosen the gear. You know, like I said, I want to try and keep it balanced. Now, the other thing which I want to mention is that with regards to the previous video, the cavalry range, we all know that the queen bee is all cavalry range. And some people would say to me, well, you know, if you want the best um, cavalry range set, why don't you just build all the Queen Bee stuff? Well, yeah, that's great, guys. You can do that. But I mean, let's face it, if you're going to go for the, the pit gear at the same event set, you know, that one's going to require five ultra rares. This one's going to require five ultra rares. And then the Bumble Helm's going to require 10 ultra rares. That's 20 ultra rares in total. You know, getting those three pieces of gear to gold is going to be really difficult. You know, that's the bottom line. It's going to be extremely difficult. I mean, if you've got the money and you want to buy a ton of bumble packs, then crack on because that is obviously your best option. But what I'm trying to do, guys, is give you options which take into account the different event equipment. You know, if I can try and get one piece of gear out of each different equipment set to make you a mixed set but does two troop types to me that's going to be much more economical and it's going to allow you to get those pieces up to gold a lot easier than it would if you're just going for one set you know so that's why i've decided to mix things up a bit guys it might be that there's a piece of gear that's got a slightly better stat but it's in the same gear set and i know in the previous uh, set there was one i think it was the dragon's talon and um and another piece out of the dragon set that I used, I think it was the offhand, the, uh, the the cavalry fist thing. Um, you know, they're in the same one, but that couldn't be helped. You know, but it kept the it kept the stats quite balanced, and that's exactly what we're going to do today, guys, with this infantry range set. All right, so you know, just think of that before you jump in and say, hey, you know, why aren't you going for that? Why aren't you going for this? <laughs> but you know, I've added these stats up, and I think for this particular gear set, the stats look good. You know, it's nice and evenly balanced, which is what I believe we're looking for. Again, some of the items you might find controversial, but let's get into it, guys. And see exactly what you think <laughs> so first of all guys let's take a look at the helmet now the helmet we're going to go for on the infantry range set it's going to be the one of the hardest pieces to get on this set as you know helmets are quite difficult but we're not going to go for the bumble helm this time we're going to go for the beast helm this is going to give you infantry attack 30 percent cavalry attack 25 percent and army max hp 15 percent which is great that applies to both the infantry and the cav and you also get the 
25% travel speed, which is nice as well. So for your helmet, guys, we're going to go for the Beast Helm. For your armor, armor piece, we are going to go for one which is very difficult as well, but not as many ultra rares. It's going to be the Hedonic Cuirass. Now, one thing I will say, just take a pause right now. Infantry range. This set, if you go into event equipment, is going to be your Bon Appetit set. Now, you know, getting all of these Bon Appetit pieces to gold, all I will say to that, guys, is good luck. You know, very, very difficult, which is why we're not using all of these pieces. So what we're gonna say for the armor piece, we're gonna go for just the Hedonic Caress. This is the piece out of the Bon Appetit we'll go for because it gives fantastic infantry HP and it gives you 25% infantry attack and 25% ranged attack. So that's gonna be the choice I would go for for your armor. Now for your boots, it's going to be exactly the same as the previous set, guys. We are going to go for the Dragon's Talon. This one's going to give you infantry attack 20%, ranged attack 30%, and army max HP 15%. So a really nice pair of legs. And on this particular time, they actually boost both of the troop types we're looking for. So for the legs, Dragon's Talon. For the main hand, guys, the one we're going to go for is the same again. Very, very good piece of gear. Very universal between these two troop type sets. And that's going to be the Skull Crusher. That's going to give us ranged attack 15%. And it's going to give us the army attack, which is really nice at 20%. Of course, the army attack applies to all troop types. So we're going to get a total of 35% on our ranged. And we're going to get 20% on our infantry. Plus, as a bonus, you get infantry defense of 25%, which, you know, defense isn't something I'm taking into account on these videos because it's the least thing we look for. But it is nice, as considering we are using infantry range, that diff defense will come in handy. So that's good. Um, on the offhand, now this one, here we go. This is where I'm going to start getting the comments. <laughs> If there's going to be something you guys pick up on this video, you're most likely going to say, hey, what's he doing again? He's going off track. But you know what, guys? There's a good reason why I've gone for this piece of gear. Um, and let's just get straight into this. So the piece of gear we're going to go for on the offhand is going to be the Viral Switchblade. Yes, the Viral Switchblade infantry range piece of gear, 15% infantry attack and 15% ranged attack. Comes with siege attack and defense. We don't really care too much about that, but it's those attack stats. Is, which is what we're looking for. I had a good look for all these pieces of gear, guys, as far as infantry range is concerned. You know, there are other pieces of gear that do do infantry and do do range, but to be perfectly honest with you, I think that one's probably the best in the slot for this set. I mean, people are going to say, no, 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 go for the winter mitts. But I mean, you know, winter mitts are good. They give you the decent army max HP, which is actually quite nice, but only 10% on the ranged attack. You know, we're losing, you know, quite a lot like 20 percent attack stats by going for the winter mitts over that so yeah we're definitely not going to go for that one on this occasion on my my choice will be the viral switchblade for your offhand okay now for the accessories again always a little bit more tricky with the accessories but let's get into the accessories now the first one we're going to go for it's going to boost your infantry it's going to be the terror vial that's going to give you 16 percent infantry attack and five percent infantry max hp which is really, really nice. So Terravile is going to be your first accessory. Your second accessory, guys, is going to be the Blight Ring. That's going to be your ranged accessory, only mainly because it gives you a fantastic ranged attack. That's 14% ranged attack, but also an army of max HP of 15%. So fantastic piece of gear. Definitely going to go for the Blight Ring. If there's range in your setup, you've got to have a Blight Ring, I would say. So Blight Ring for your second one. Now for your third one, Let's have a look. I'm going to say the Worm Seal, okay? We're going to go for your Worm Seal on your third piece. That's going to boost your range, and that's going to give you 16% range attack. It's going to give you 8% army max HP, and that's going to be your third accessory. Now, before we go and have a look at the dressing room and have a look at the stats on this, there is one more thing I would like to mention to you, okay? As I've already said, I've only gone for one piece of gear from the Bon Appetit set, which is the Hedonic Cuirass, which is this piece here. Now, you know, this video is called the best infantry range set. Now, you can, if you really want to, if you've got that extra funds available, you can change that last accessory from, you know, the worm seal, all right? That's the one we looked at, the range, 16%. Now, you can change that one out for this, which is the Ambrosial Cup. You know, this is perfect for this setup, you know, infantry range, it's quite high, 25% of both the infantry and ranged um, attack and 15% HP. Now, let me tell you 
why I haven't gone for that over the Hedonic Cuirass. It's got the same amount of attack stats, right? And it's got 15% HP for both, but the Hedonic Cuirass, although it's just for the infantry, gave 30% infantry HP. And although I want this set where I can use infantry at front line or I can use range, nine times out of 10, you will be using this set with infantry at the front. So I wanted to give the infantry a bit of a boost, okay, which is why I went for the Hedonic Cuirass over the Ambrosial Cup. But ultimately, if you want the best infantry range, then you could do both. You could do the Hedonic Cuirass and you could do a Ambrosial Cup. You know, if you've got loads of money to spend, you could have three Ambrosial Cups and then you're really laughing. But to be honest with you, getting three gold Ambrosial Cups will cost you thousands. And I'm trying to give you a gear set that is not just good on stats but economical okay and realistic let's be honest guys so you can do that now here's another option guys if you can't if you don't want um, the hedonic cuirass if you want the uh, ambrosial cup uh, because you'd rather have HP on both the infantry and the ranged rather than just having it on the infantry as I've gone for what you can do just to keep the cost down is go for the ambrosial cup and then on your armor instead of going for the hedonic cuirass you can put this in, which is the Frostwing armor. Now, it's not great. It ain't great, but it's relatively cheap. Uh, Frostwing armor only requires one heart. It still gives you 8% um, infantry attack and 8% ranged attack. So, you know, it's nowhere in the same league as the Hedonic Cuirass. And there are other pieces that you could argue that could be better, but, you know, the Frostwing armor does both. It would be a good substitute if you want to have a cup and you don't want to use the Hedonic Cuirass, but at the same time, keeping the cost down. I'm trying to keep all of the variables in this, you know, not just, oh, what's the best? Let's put everything with the best stats down. Let's show everyone the most amazing gear that they can get, but then when they actually try and go in game and get it, it's ridiculously hard. What's the point in that? I don't see the point in it at all. I want to give you something that's actually realistic to build at the same time, okay? Okay. Anyway, that's just an idea. So what we do now, guys, let's pop over to the dressing room and have a look and see exactly what kind of stats we're looking at with this gear set I've chose today. So there we go. There it is, all in its glory. Now you can see that the infantry attack, now not including the army stats at the moment, guys, the infantry attack is sitting at 106% and your ranged attack is sitting at 115%, which is really nice. And then if we go down and add on the army attack, that's 20%. So in total, guys, 126% infantry attack and 135% on your range. Slightly higher on the range, but that'll be good. You know, if someone hits you with cav and you've got your infantry on the front line, you know, you've got that bit of extra boost at the back line to take out those cavs. So yeah, you know, that's, that's gonna be the attack stats. And for the HP on the infantry HP, which will be 53 plus the 35 you are looking at 88 for your infantry hp and for your range you're looking at 53 so a bit lower on the range but then you do have the slightly higher attack stats on the range to counter for that so all in all really nicely balanced really nicely balanced infantry range set this would be the one i would go for guys each and also this is another bonus each one of those gear pieces comes from its own event set there isn't any doubles here, so it's going to be nice for the ultra rares, you know, a lot easier for you to get up to gold. So guys, that's going to be it for this video. That's the one I would go for, for infantry range. I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're back again, then thanks for watching. And for now, guys, I'll just say peace out.